that's not all. Our Jeff's been getting up close and personal with Salma Hayek and Antonio Banderas. Although it's fair to say your attention was mostly on one of them. You'll see why after this. Daniel. But first tonight, Sir Brucey has been laying into the X Factor. The 84-year-old thinks the rows between the judges are fake. He reckons that scripted arguments between Gary, Talisa and Kerry and Louis, Kerry, Kelly and Louis are the reasons why the viewers have switched off. Uh, Bruce is thrilled that Strictly is beating the X Factor in the ratings. And here is Minnie with the report. Welcome to the show. Good to see you both. Hi, okay. Kevin. Okay. And what do you make of Bruce's comments? I, we have the X Factor Wembley final coming soon. Uh, Bruce, as funny as you remember him when you was a kid. Talking okay, about the X Factor, mm. the judges' contracts are up for renewal or not. Who's safe? L Last time round, when they signed Kevin. What about Simon Cowell? Uh, I think he knows a lot. <laughs> and he knows how to <laughs> manage a band. True, true, very, very so true. So sticking with the X Factor, Ollie is performing at the weekend. Got a bit of a twist on it. Yeah. Sat next to Miss Piggy once at a fashion show. That, <laughs> maybe it was just a... Could be a service, yeah, yeah. some of the, exactly. We Sorry, I haven't had the you. mechanics report through. Why but not? we do Why know. Not? I'll make it's very scary, but isn't it more likely that it would be like paparazzi or a journalist trying to, rather than someone trying to kidnap? It could be, yeah, it is awful and worrying for us, so I'm sure. Uh, her sending messages to Peter Andre. Yeah, this bugs. Watch yeah. out for Stay away from that model. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now, what's Sunita up to? She's um, shooting off a bit in the jungle in the pit. Let's take a look. Oh, she's very popular with the girls with those stories. They are <laughs> lovely the stories. I mean, the camp. Yeah, I'm sure there's more to come. Stephanie's out. Yes, you're right. A lot thank of free scope. How are you guys? What's Good. the latest then? Good, thank you. Um, we'll just finish, obviously, series. What action you've had to the new characters? Um, I think... What I want to ask you about is we're talking about Mark all the time <laughs> in the jungle, and as we saw, you two were together towards the end of that, so how did it end? Go, Sam. Yeah, just let him go. Have, him. You, been, have you been watching him in yeah, there? Yeah, I've been watching it. <laughs> You'd be excellent in there. <laughs> I see you in there. That's yeah, right. Speaking of good entertainment, anyway, Mark was very entertaining the other day. Let's just take a look at a clip that we've got. I've got to say, the first time I saw that, I laughed out loud for ages. It's so funny. Usually you'd ask, is that genuine? But it clearly is. How can he's, he's, getting bit, yeah. he's getting a bit flirty with Emily. How do you think Emily would uh, survive in Essex? Do you think we could handle a queen to Essex? Um, Come into the family of... Yeah, of course. Off. Definitely. And tell us about um, Essex Assize, your new video that you're here to promote. Yes, I need to be... Actually out now, we've got a clip. Let's yeah, yeah. Now. That looks brilliant. Well, tell us a bit about it. There's three different Essex style sections. Yeah, you've got retro ring, which is like slight <laughs> strim, so it's like sit up, but that's really free of them all different, so it's good. So, Harry, that part of the clip was when you was actually choosing the instructor, which we've not seen in exercise yeah. videos. So, but what, what did you is, go for? Pardon? What did you go for? In actually, it's yes, time. Very, very nice. Um, Sam, how's your shape been afterwards? Yeah, well, basically, I'm going to give it a go. I'm yeah. going to give it a yeah. go. Yeah. Cool. And what about the, the Christmas um, single? Oh, Tell wow. us on the X Factor. How, how, no. how would you celebrate if you actually beat the X Factor single? I don't know. Dave, we'll get together. Who was the best? Yeah. 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 And then there's a bit of like... Hey. hey, guys, how are you? Very good. How's your little ones? Very, very exciting. Now, we're going to have to start with talking about the cutchers. What's going on there? Defence, you know, um, she wasn't the one blame for the divorce. About Brad and Angelina, uh, they've put a house up for sale. What does that mean? Looking at Ellen, those two gorgeous girls from Essex have been back on the Ellen show again. Or is it Sophia, Grace and Rosie? Let's take a look at them in action. Ah, I love that. I love Katy Perry there as well. I mean, everyone loves... Anyway, Manoush, pleasure talking to you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Happy, Happy Black Friday. Happy weekend. <laughs> Beautiful. And is, um, right, let's have a look at some of your messages, guys. So on Bruce Strictly and the X Factor, Sylvia on Facebook says, X Factor is rubbish this year, not because of the judges or because Simon is absent, but because they put through the wrong acts to the finals. Strictly wins. Um, Lady Tweet on Twitter says, if the rows were scripted, I'd have hoped they would have come up with something better and more entertaining. Oh, Declan on Facebook says, X Factor is far better than Strictly, so Bruce can continue impressing old people. Oh! OK, John so on Twitter go. says, will the contestants get a Brucey bonus if the judges are more natural? Who nice. knows? But remember, if you want to get in touch, guys, go to Facebook or Twitter and search OKTV OK official or head to our website, channel5.com slash OKTV. OK yep, that's it from us, but we'll be back next week with more amazing guests and...